this is my uh, SGA, my uh, buffer cache, my uh, shared pool, my redo log buffer, hmm. my library cache, my dictionary cache, all that stuff is there. The processes are also there, those five processes. We have seen only the DBWR and LGWR so far. And then on the disk, we have data files, control files, and so data, control, and redo files. Redo at least two. Control one is okay, but for safety, at least two. And then system sysox and all that stuff. So there is this, which is temp. So we did not discuss about temp. That is what I wanted to kind of talk about. So uh, this is a client process SQL plus and client process gets connected to the server process. Okay, client process gets connected to the server process and server process is responsible for doing quite a few things. One of the important things is to bring data from disk into the buffer cache and which process is responsible for putting data from buffer cache to the disk, it's a DBWR process. Authentication is also done by the server process. Now, uh, this is the select statement, let us say. Select star from table A and then maybe order by ID. ID is one of the columns in that table. So, uh, the parsing will happen, the execution plan, all that stuff will happen. And then finally, when the execution starts coming in, the data is now brought into the buffer cache Okay, though all those steps are done. Data is brought into the buffer cache. And now, once the data is brought into the buffer cache, final thing, before it is displayed to the user, it should be sorted because of the order by clause. It should be sorted because of the order by clause. Now, the sorting happens in a specific area for each dedicated server process. Just like there is a SGA, which is the memory area, there is something called as a PGA. PGA stands for Program Global Area. This is a memory area attached to the dedicated server process or associated with the dedicated server process. Not attached, associated with the dedicated server process. If there is another thing, um, as I said, Toad, it will have its own server process. And for that, will, there will be also a PGA. So, PGA is a memory area which is associated with each server process. Uh, now, if you go back to the programming routes, uh, you know, any program that you execute will require a certain amount of memory. If you add two numbers, A plus B is equal to, I mean, C is equal to A plus B, you want to add two numbers, there will be a memory area for variable A, there will be a memory area associated with B and C, and there would be some other memory area associated for the actual program execution code. So there is basically some memory requirement for every program that is running. And that is basically for that specific program. So server dedicated server process is a program. And for that, there is certain memory requirement. And that is what we are calling it as a PGA, the program global area. Many people call it as a private global area also. Why private? Because it is associated only with this process. No other process running on the same machine can go and interfere with this this, this, this uh, program global area and that is why it is sometimes called the private and this is where the sorting happens so there is some other sub area here called a sort area this is where the sorting happens there is a hash area there are quite a few sub areas inside that for various specific operations so data will be sorted over here now this is a very small memory area, maybe 1 megabyte or 2 megabyte depending on how you size it. It is up to DBA to decide what would be the size of this area. It is up to the DBA to decide what would be the size of uh, the SGA. All those things we are going to see now. It is up to the DBA to decide what are going to be the sizes of the data file system files. It is up to the DBA to decide what are going to be the sizes of the redo files. So all those things are kind of certain parameters or certain commands. Coming back to our PGA discussion. Sort area is an area inside the PGA where the sorting happens. And now, as I said, since it is a very small area and if you want to sort a table which is having 1 million rows, obviously this area is not enough to kind of store the sorting results before they are kind of displayed to the user. So, 
when the salt area is not enough for the sorting the server process will put those temporary results in the temp table space the server process will put those temporary results in the temp table space so anytime the sort area is not enough anytime the the hash area hash area is done is used for uh, joining two tables with an algorithm called as a hashing algorithm so at that time you may be using the hash area there so all those areas will not be enough many times sometimes they will be enough depending on your data and depending on what you are doing then in that situation temporary table space storage is used so this is the area this is the kind of small point that i had missed so this is a pga sort area is inside pga so we know what an sga is we should now also know what a pga is now one thing about sga that i want to kind of talk about is sga is a memory area which is accessed by multiple server processes by dbwr by lgwr people are writing to this people are reading from this so there are multiple processes which are actually reading and writing from this sga and that is why many people call this as a shared shared global area also because it is shared by multiple processes by default by default no unix program will have access to another program's area that means if I write a Unix program or, or basically any program I will not be able to access the memory which is used by another program that means this is a shared global area is a special kind of a memory area that should be created by the DBA this is a special area shared global area and that is what we will see how, how to kind of create a, sh a shared global area are there any specific parameters over there we don't have to do anything specific uh, Oracle will do that but we need to understand that this is something special it is not as common as running any other program so it's GA and PGA so that was the small point about the PGA huh? what happens when the delete is delete? delete is same as the update and insert is also same as update because you know when the delete happens the original data is now kept into the undo buffer <coughs> so now there is the original data block and the Undo, bu data blo uh, undo buffer block and they are also now returned to the disk depending on you know when the buffer cache becomes full so it is treated exactly as the update insert is also treated exactly as the update because in insert originally the block was empty and then later on as the insert happened the block had some data so the before image that means the undo image will be empty and the after image will have the data so update deletes and inserts they will work pretty much the same way So that was the point of the uh, the discussion about the PGA. Sort area is a, uh, so the terminologies that we need to remember here is the uh, is what is the, that 11 or 12 number whatever whatever that is PGA program global area and within the program global area we have what is called as a sort area used for sorting and we also have a hash area used for uh, you know kind of hash join algorithms we will not go into the details of what hash join is and all that stuff but these are the areas and then if that is not enough you go to the so c is temp table space so we have seen this thing temp table space so this is the discussion about the pga and then we will see about the data